The Rosedale Outfall is an extremely high profile project and one that we're very proud as a company to be involved with. One of the uh, key factors um, we felt in uh, success in winning this project was the ability to perform the work uh, in-house, to perform virtually all of the work in-house. We're very fortunate as a company to have a strong marine tunnelling and general civil capability based here in New Zealand in-house and um, available to uh, carry out the, the whole of the project scope. This, uh, this project is a, is a great project because um, it has such an impact on the environment. It's great to be associated with a project where, where at the end of the day we're going to be able to look out and say we've, we've helped clean up the uh, marine environment in Mairangi Bay and on the North Shore. We're really pleased with the collaborat collaborative working environment that we've established with the North Shore City Council, their consultants AECOM and uh, our consultants CWDC. And I'm especially pleased with the excellent project team we've got on site, ably led by Greg Richmond, delivering a fantastic um, job for the North Shore City residents. Right from the start, this has been a challenging project. We've come across design issues which have had to make us think outside the square, import technology, we've had to kind of look at construction techniques in the marine section, but overall, we've kind of tackled each one of these and come out trumps. I'm very pleased with the health and safety development over the last two years on this project. The them and us culture has slowly disappeared and we are now working together. This is evidence in winning the Contractors Federation Health and Safety Merit Award the last two years running. Don't fish. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see, well, it's displayed now in your smoker. And that's a very well done to all of you lads for what you've done. As we stand today, we are currently on contract program. This is hugely attributed to the team culture that has been developed on this project. With the use of the experienced superintendents, foremen, site construction crew, supported by their team managers, I can only say I'm glad to have been involved with this project. I've been involved with the Rosedale Outfall project for probably about 10 years now and, and actually did some work on the feasibility stage of it working with North Shore City Council and I've been involved in it right the way through as long as McConnell Dow has been involved. The outfall will carry treated effluent from the Rosedale Wastewater Treatment Plant to the discharge point in the Rangitoto Channel. The total length of the outfall is 5.1 kilometres and it comprises a driven tunnel about 3 kilometres long and a submarine pipeline 2.1 kilometres long. The tunnel route was designed to avoid going under private property as far as possible, so it follows roads and other public spaces and it's far from a straight line and this in itself has created a few problems. At the start of the outfall, the water drops down a drop shaft 35 metres into the, into the tunnel, which then conveys it the three kilometres through under Myringi Bay to a point 600 metres off the beach at Myringi Bay Beach. At that point, it goes up a 22 metre high riser pipe, which brings it up to seabed level and connects into a 1.6 metre diameter HDP pipeline, which runs in a trench under the seabed the rest of the way up to the Rangitoto Channel. 
Yeah, one of the major challenges that the, the project's presented comes about because North Shore City's treatment plant is built on the top of a hill, so we're starting off with water that's 35 metres above sea level. And that's led to issues with regard to the design of the drop shaft, how we design that to burn off that energy. Uh, the design of the tunnel itself, which has to handle quite high pressures when the, the tunnel's flowing at, at full pressure. Uh, the other challenge really has been an environmental one, that we're building a major piece of infrastructure in a very densely populated suburban environment, and that's led us to the decision, first of all, to tunnel all the onshore section to minimise disruption to people, and ultimately to carry that tunnel about 600 metres offshore, again to avoid disruption of a quite a major beach in, in the North Shore City. The Outfall projects presented a number of unique design challenges and the design team, and that's us, Oricon, and in fact North Shore City, have come up with some really good solutions for those and uh, they're working very well. Um, I've found the job challenging at times but always enjoyable and uh, I'm very happy with the outcome. So at our busiest, uh, we had up to eight people um, from all over, we had um, people from locally, uh, but but uh, we also at, at the Rosedale side office, um, we had people from uh, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Darwin. Uh, we worked very closely together with McConnell Dow to make sure that our team delivered design at, at the time they needed it. Um, the, the major changes involved lowering the tunnel. I think we lowered it by 16 and a half metres from the design level at the time of tender. Um, and we also ch had to change the way the water fell from the, the Rosedale treatment plant all the way down to the tunnel level. And we changed that to a unique structure for, for Australasia, a, a thing called a cascade where the water falls from side to side all the way down. We actually uh, contracted the University of Auckland to build a big perspex model of this at one to nine scale. Uh, and water was then put in at the top and you could see it sloshing all the way down jumping from baffle to baffle until it got to the bottom. Uh, although this thing seemed to foam up like anything on the way down, by the bottom uh, the air all bubbled out very close to the, the, the surface of the water and no air, or very, very little indeed, continued down the tunnel. And that was the critical thing and, and the reason for the, the cascade was to, to limit the amount of air heading down the tunnel. What we've had in McConnell Owl and, and the client's team is some really talented individuals and they've really helped pull us through and let us put our issues to one side and, and concentrate on what were the things that can make this project a success. My job here at Rosedale Outfall is engineer's representative. I work for North Shore City Council to administer the contract on their behalf and I work closely with Greg Witchman, the project manager. Greg and I meet regularly to review progress and any issues that might come up from time to time. We've had a number of interesting challenges that we've resolved amicably. Um, North Shore City are very pleased with progress today, uh, particularly with the way that interfaces with the community have been managed. Hey guys, it's been a great project to work on. Uh, I've been on it for two years now, um, especially at the TBM where we've gone from choosing a supplier right through assembly, commissioning, design. Uh, in the end, we decided with um, a Lovett uh, manufactured TBM. One of the reasons was because of our other project, the Hobson project, which was also using a Lovett TBM, which allowed a certain amount of integration of parts, uh, training, and also during the design stage, we could easily uh, modify the machines to, to better fit both projects. Two main challenges is, is the alignment, which has um, a, new, a number of bends and curves, a minimum radius is 200 metres. So that required a, a sophisticated guidance system and a lot of survey time to keep it updated. And the other challenge was probably the size and the downhill gradient. It's um, any water inflow into the tunnel, whether it's from the face or the segments, uh, causes significant problems in case of inundation or safety to the operatives. The tunnel lining is segmental, it's uh, precast by um, Wilson's uh, out in their yard at Drury. 
and then transported to sites, and each ring composed of six pieces that are then erected in the TBM.